Oh boy, what a mess. But things have gone wrong, as always. Good world gone bad. Right, I wasn't planning on starting the video here, but things have gone wrong, as always. So I'm here, in Clendaroen. I was meant to drop off a full load here. Yeah, well that's not happening anymore, because apparently it's meant to go direct to a farm. So we're going farming. This road was absolute chaos just now. Two very big caravans came through, and when I mean big caravans, I mean woo hoo Locked the whole thing. Oh dear me, if it doesn't rain, it pours, as they say. Yeah, it's quite literal today. It's quite heavy rain. Now, where I was this morning, at the place I was originally gone, where everyone told me to go, there was no rain. But now we've got to go up here, in the rain. Yeah, well, it's only water. Water never killed anyone, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to a farm. This was not on the agenda today, but we're doing it anyway. Uh, I'm definitely not going to get to my... Oh, where I want to park up tonight in Ipswich now. But one good thing has come out of this is that uh, I don't have to do a load of the bags today. Because <laughs> that was planned. Right, I need to turn left somewhere. That's a field. Let's avoid that, especially in this weather. That's a lay-by, I don't need a break just yet. I've been sort of guided in. Sort of. Oh, an instantly single-track road. Okay, and we feel right at home now. We feel right at home now. Second farm on the right. Well, my concerns over the very, 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 very tall trailer are... settled, I guess is the word. As there's not many trees. Well, I guarantee I'll still hit the tall ones. And this is fine. Ooh, a bit more trees. Oh, no, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, there we go. Hit the tree. <laughs> uh, the distinctive clunk. Well, apparently I don't turn around. I just drive further out and then come out on the main road somewhere. Which I'm fine with, as long as it stays like this. Second farm on the right, here we are. I don't turn down it. Let's hope there's enough room to actually park outside. Oh, here we go. Actually... Actually, there is. Happy days. Scott, you're parked up to a next to a roller. Do not drive straight forward when you leave. There's a horse looking at me, staring me. Yeah, that's right. Look the other way. Oh, no, no. Come on, dude, why the long face? Oh, he can't make it up. He's just rejected the load. It's the wrong stuff. Also, the zip of my jacket broke. So there's no buttons only for me. Uh, any jacket companies out there, get in touch. I need a new one badly. Oh, more phone calls. Let's see how bad the way out is there, shall we? <laughs> I'm taking it back to where I was this morning. Well, I mean, it still is morning, but... I'm taking it back to where I originally was. It's just what I want to do, innit? Oh, dear. What? 4.3 height limit? Oh, God. Let's hope we don't go that far. Oh, a bit more trees down here. Uh, well, I've rung my boss. He's not answering. But, oof, that was a big one. Uh, yeah, my boss ain't answering, so I've got to get out anyway. This one's head this way. And hope for the best. This is getting sketchier. Yeah, so far, so good. Who else would be panicking right now? It's 
amazing how we used to it. Oh, there we go. Got a bit narrow here. <laughs> Got a bit narrow. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, this is less okay. Never tell tractors have been down here. But tractors are a bit more durable than Scott's lorry. Scraping mirrors, scraping mirrors, scraping mirrors. And open out and it's fine. There we go, a bit of power! Oh, power! Oh, this day just goes wrong and wrong. Well, that's two issues so far. Can we make it a hat trick? I have three issues today. I want to say no. Oh dear. All right, well, this is open out. This is, this is fine. This ain't too bad. Oh, now we're again. Oh, we get something then. Hit the more branches. Branches is one thing. Oh, that's low. Oh. Branches are one thing. Trunks are another thing. And I've discovered there's a very different sound for a trailer hitting branches and scraping the roof. Someone took a branch down there. Wasn't me. <laughs> you can blame me for the other 2,000, but you can't blame me for that one. There we go, main A40. Well, that was just a good waste of an hour. But has given me the opportunity to go to my very favourite burger van, which I never ever get the opportunity to go to really. Oh, there's a car there, I didn't see you. Luckily we don't really have that much power. Oh wait, yes we do. 650 feet. Although we are heavy, so it takes us time, you know. Right, back here again. Slowest barrier ever. Oh the bright side looks like I missed the ring. Empty, and we're leaving. Empty being the key word there. Anyway, empty being the key word. I very much need diesel. Where it's uh, it's flashing angry angry lights at me. So we're going to do that. Then I'm going to load. Then I'm going to ip switch. Thankfully, the good thing about today is I didn't have to do a, bag, a load of the bags. I have no idea who you were, but hello anyway. I was going to begin this video in ip switch, but well. The events of the morning. Yeah, this is what we have to deal with sometimes as drivers. Things that are completely out of control of our control. It's frustrating, but overall it really doesn't make any difference. <laughs> it's, just, it's just stress for the sake of causing stress. Yeah, so Ipswich and we, uh, we're doing a bit of a different load coming back, so that's why I was going to record this video. Doors are open. Yeah, three big Richard McCollins. Nice sight of the load as well. Don't even have to pull the curtain the other way. Yeah, I'll play it back a little bit more, but you know. Winter spec and full show. Yeah, I gave my lorry a good clean on Friday. Didn't last long. Uh, 
the seatbelt off until I do this maneuver. My window, my, my mirrors are dirty. Should probably clean those. Oh, 24 minutes away, okay. But we are going to collect uh, waste. Yeah, that's the exciting collection of this video. Waste. Anyway, I got, I'm collecting bales anyway. Go into gear, you stupid thing. Reversing round the corner, reversing the Scania round the corner. Me, 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 me. There are children playing. You should be in school. It is currently too early for school. Parents following behind. Ah, that was cute. Sister looking out for little brother. Don't worry, we're not going to run you over, children. Oh, it's warm in you. It's warm in you. Why is it so warm in you? Yeah, and the annoying, the annoying. Uh oh, we're in danger. And that's it. Just drive in the middle of the road when you know I need the most of it. I tried to make it here last night to park, but. After the kerfuffle of the day, it didn't end up happening. It's a bit of a shame because I'd like to, I'd have uh, liked to go into for food in that pub. Train or come, train or come, train or come. Ah, oh, there's a dodgy crossing. Junction right on the railway crossing. That's not where you want to. That's not where you want to be. But yes, the annoying thing about this collection, it's well, I guess it is, but it isn't annoying. Because before these guys moved to this premises, they were in their old premises, obviously. And this place where I'm going to now is literally on the same road as that place. <laughs> so it was almost perfect, just a couple of months too late. But yes, we're going to do that. We're going to load some waste. Uh, I don't like loading waste. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, I haven't been here for a while. I'm not really sure where I'm going. But there's only one way to find out. Oh, no need to indicate, there's obviously only one way you can go. Alright, that's the new bit. Oh. They gotta move on with that thing, didn't they? Well, there's a shell last time I was here. One thing I like to see is uh, developments when I visit rarely, should we say. I don't think it's down by there. Sat nav is saying up here. Or up this. Well, it's definitely not up there. I should have turned up the one before. Here? Here. I was right here. All planned, all planned. Take it slow, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That looks like a scrapyard, but there. Those are blocked off, so I can't go there. Fabrications, all right, keep going up, keep going up. And come to this way bridge. Okay, very door. Be far. Hard hat, eye protection, all the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay, we got it. Right, out of there, loaded. Loaded with bailed cans. Some aluminium, there's a little bit of plastic in there as well, but what can you do? Massive recycling centre. Uh, I've got to be fair. Like, I was expecting to get shouted at because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But, as far as going to a site for the first time, especially a site like that, they were the most helpful and friendly people you could ask for, honest to God. It's shocking how easy and just friendly they were. They, they even helped me with my trailer, like undoing the curtains and all that. Like, I suppose that stems from health and safety, because health and safety in those sizes is beyond, but yeah. Just, they were shockingly good. Shockingly friendly. Absolutely shocking, in the best way. Uh, I was overweight as well, by 700 kilos. We can't be having that, so we had to take uh, take a bit off. Which shoots me, because my dashboard says I was overweight on the front axles, mid, lift, and drive. I don't have air on the front, so I can't measure the, uh, the steer, but... Well, took a bit off the front. And that 
put them back on legal, so that's good. I love the little weight thing on the on the Scania dashboards. It's amazing. And even though, like I said, I don't have it on the front, so it doesn't tell me the total weight of the truck. Uh, you can kind of work it out. I know as long as I'm not overloaded on the front two axles, and I've got roughly just about 24 ton on the trailer, I'm within my weights. I've got a bit more on either one. I should probably check. Well, there we are. We're just uh, going to nose you on home. I bet this sat nav wants to take me down the M25. We're not doing that because this week has been knackered with M25 oil protesters slinging themselves up with a gantry and. Ugh. We got no time for that. We got no time for that. So going back up the way we came of the A14. If I knew the M25 would not be an issue, yeah, we'll go that way. Because believe it or not, I actually quite like going that way. But uh, yeah, right, we've done this. We're going back to the yard, which will be, ooh, five o'clock. I was gonna say turn and burn, which we might still do, but it'll be a bit late. Yeah, so back to the yard. We need to take a break at some point, but I feel like we're going to have a good day. Most of the work has been done, dropped off, collected, now it's all travel. Uh, and we're going to turn and burn with <laughs> another load of recycling. <laughs> we seem to be doing that a lot now. Well, this week anyway, and that's got Immingham, which will not take us to get a fence post, it'll take us to get fertiliser, because fertiliser starting back up now it seems. Well, for us anyway, we don't actually do it ourselves. It gets subbed out to us. It tends to be over winter, we do it a lot. Morning. We're in the yard. Almost the last one to leave. Again, I don't know how well you can see. Dark things, I got a head touch on, but I thought I'd just show you the law just in case I can't show you later. There you go. Bailed thingies. A couple of ratty straps over it. Not too bad. Got me brushing here just in case from one of the other trailers. Right on. We need the V8 lit up, boys. Ho ho! See, with that sign on, it gives us at least 50% more power. <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? I don't know if you can tell, but the weather is uh, not the best at the minute. And I think I'd much rather rain when I got this trailer on, and it looks like I've got this trailer on for the entire week. It's not a rare occurrence, me having the same trailer for the whole week. It's usually a flat. I like that. I don't like the curtain. Especially this one. Especially in the wind. It is just, when I loaded those uh, enclosures for Ipswich, I honest to God could not physically open one of the sides because it was wasn't even that windy actually but just the wind pushing against it because it's such a big surface area excuse the wind but while i finish taking the straps off this is where we had 43 ton i'm just over not too bad that is it so we got Boyo and Tally Handler just picking up a few bales. As you can tell, it's a bit rainy. Go on, lad. There we go. Whoa, big stack. And he's taking them and chucking them over there. So that guy to put in that blue thing. No idea what that does, but good stuff. And this is why I hate this bloody trailer. Believe it or not, the wind is actually coming from that way, so this shouldn't happen. But because it's so big... Yay. Yeah. Oh, joys. There's a hell of a force on that. It doesn't look like much, but there is. That only took forever to close the curtains. Or should I say the sails? I was really surprised about that. I thought, I, being, I thought I was being clever. Face with the wind, not against the wind. 
No, did absolutely no difference. Uh, where am I going? Uh, let's go this way, why not? From one landfill or waste recycling centre to another waste recycling centre. Traffic is not our friend today. Traffic is not our friend. I don't know what's happening here. So we're going to the landfill site now. Picking up some baled cardboard this time. This time it's cardboard. Uh, last time it was aluminium cans. Oh, we swept the trailer and nicked the brush with the flatbeds, which never gets used. <laughs> uh, so brush the trailer out. Got a nice clean bed of a trailer now. Only to be filled with. Did we even need to go in this lane? I don't think we needed to go in this lane, did we? We didn't. What, why the... Cattle. But I'm angry at myself for that as well. <laughs> Unless they moved over when I couldn't see them. But anyway, we're taking that. We're going to be taking the bale cardboard up to Immingham somewhere. Uh, it might be the docks. I know they take waste in the docks. I don't know where they put cardboard in the docks. But preloading in Immingham as well. Ideal. And then shoot back for tomorrow, which is Friday. Okay, well, again, I don't know how much you can see me, but I've got the old bin lid on so I don't have an accident. I get some places with these. Like the place I was at earlier, the scrapyard. Fair enough. Hard hat, fair enough. This place, in certain areas, yeah, okay, fair enough. What I'm doing now, probably less dangerous. Anyway, we're we'll getting these bales on. Uh, apparently it's not cardboard, it's just a mixture of stuff, but... Well, they're baled. I can see a little bit of thing on the bottom of that one, maybe escaped. But uh, what got me is they put a sheet of plastic down on the trailer bed before loading. I have a feeling it's just because of moisture or something, but it's a lot cleaner for me to transport, I suppose. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Also, they shut that door. Good, because all the wind was coming in from that way. <laughs> so now I can close the curtains without any, any struggle. Oh my God, I was genuinely struggling with the curtains for about 20 minutes now. Even after turning the lorry, every which way to avoid the wind. It's still, oh, it's a nightmare. This trailer is six inches taller than our next tallest one, and it makes a hell of a difference. Six inches. So this is what it looks like now, anyway. Right, leaving the shed. Now I say, that's what it looks like now, because I got a feeling. I got a feeling we might be overweight. Not by much, but still a bit. I'll just go around the loop to the Weybridge and we'll find out. Place your bets in the comments. Am I overweight? Am I not? The weight of my drive, on my drive axles and mid lift have actually gone down by about a ton now, now that I've moved. Interesting. Might be okay then. This Weybridge is awkward. <coughs> Got to do a manoeuvre to get on it straight. Is he waiting for the bridge as well, or is he what, loading? I don't know. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I've had enough away bridges for one day. The one this morning, it's nasty, it was very tight. I'm a bit closer to that curb than I thought it was, yeah? No, actually I'm not. The way bridge is just smaller than I thought. Okay, that's always a good thing. You know, sometimes I hate it when I'm right. 45 and a half ten. <laughs> uh, so apparently I've got to take two off, not just one. This is annoying. If it was one, then I might take it off the back since the drive axle has calmed down. Now. One off the back, one off the front, I think. Oh, come on. Silly thing.
That's better. I think that's a lot better, don't you? Yeah. 43 ton, no, not 45 and a half. So it was two and a half ton. So one of them bales was ton and a quarter. Yeah, so one bale would have not been enough, yeah. Oh, oh, oh what a mess. Oh boy, what a mess. Oh, hang on. While I'm here, I'm gonna put this baby into power mode. Now there's an opening. <laughs> oh. oh, she was ready then. <laughs> Palm on, up to speed, come on. Oh. I'm glad I was in the shed, avoiding this rain, I will say that. Right, we're going to go down to come on on the road and turn back on ourselves. because they reminded me of that quite a bit in there. <laughs> Do not cross over. Chill, chill, I wasn't going to. I'm not that dumb. As many people in my comment section will probably say, yes, I am. I try not to be that dumb. Find some food, have Demingham, have a good time. I just realized this is not the couch. This is a notorious hill. And I have never, ever gone up it fully loaded until now. Guess the speed I'm doing. I was coming up here on the limiter, got a 650 horsepower engine behind us. And I remember when I drove an 18 tonner for a cash and carry doing truck stock transfers, that thing had 240 horsepower and I was down to 18 mile an hour in an 18 tonner. At 43 ton in this V8, I'm down to 34. Oh. And there goes an empty tipper. What a goffs. That's a lot faster than a lot of lorries, particularly um, red and white Irish lorries driving old dafts come up this hill. Because I think even at 18 mile an hour in that, in that 18 tonner, I would have, uh, I would have passed them. <laughs> but I just thought that was interesting to see. Never come up here loaded, ever. It's always empty, empty when we're coming up here because we always go down West Wales loaded. I haven't really got much to compare that to other than the 18 tonner, but I'm quite impressed by that. <laughs> So I'm parked up here, just outside Immingham, in industrial estate. Anyway, you noticed, in the last video, I bought some curtains. I didn't really show you. There they are. Oh, those are the, that's the, that, oh, that's the Pelmet. You've got the tie backs you've already seen, and the curtains themselves. Not going to put the Pelmet up tonight. I'll put the rest of them up tonight. Well, I say the rest of them, just the curtains. Not going to fiddle with tie backs just yet. There they are. This quality is very nice, very thick compared to these standard ones. But here, this... They're all right, I mean, they black out, but they're just not, yeah, you know? All right. Measuring, see how far away they are, so I think we got them every seven holes with these new clips. I really hope I get this right first time, because I don't fancy do it, redoing these, however many clips I end up getting. These are slightly longer, which is concerning me a bit. Slightly longer, like down ways. Should be right. You know when you do a project and, you know, you've got bits left over, Hmm. Only kind of hope you haven't missed anything important. <laughs> anyway, let's put these back on. Railing is big here, and I've just kind of, I don't know if you see that, I shimmied that little plastic stopper out the way to get the curtains off and reverse for the way back. Because they do, there is a stopper here somewhere, but that ain't coming off at all. I think I found out what the spares were for. But when you lose one, when you're trying to put them in. And you know, first world problems, I got my telly in the way. This would be a much easier job if the telly went in the way. That ain't too bad, is it? Yeah, I like that. And then, yep, that's the right one. That will hold them back eventually. For now, the standard, the standard Scania one will have to do. Oh, the clip. Yeah. That's not good, is it? I was a bit worried they'd be too long. 
I mean, they're a little bit long. But nothing major. I want to see my dashboard so I can see whatever information I have. By the way, didn't it? If you didn't know, you can do that on the dashboard. Just click one of them. It brings you your time and your battery information. And the night eater options as well, but I, I haven't got any. I haven't got my timer set yet. So. It'll scan your tip for you. Loads of little features like that. It's little things like that, but scan you that I really like. Yeah, so I was right on the place of the spacing on these hooks. Just need to do that side now. And before I cover this label up and anyone wants to know where I got these curtains from. There you go. White rig truck curtains. Made in Wales. Made in Wales. Um, yeah, very good. Customer service. Fantastic. Uh, anything with like customizable because I designed these. I say I designed these myself. I chose from a list of options. Uh, anything customize it, customizable like that uh, will require a bit of back and forth between you and the supplier. And yeah, customer service absolutely fantastic. Uh, and hopefully, this side once die decides to behave and not spew his guts all over the place. Should be a bit easier. I'm also going to take these down. These are annoying. We have these in the MEM as well. Just got in the way all the time. There's my Scotty plate. If anyone uh, wonders, and the sacrifice I've is always got to have a sacrifice I've is, and this is just in my way now. She gone with you. Ah, the familiar sights of Birmingham. I was going to say Birmingham then. Becoming less familiar. Becoming less. Oh, please stay green. Please stay green. Please stay green. Please stay green. I'm not stopping now. Good. Stay green. Yeah, becoming a lot less familiar now. I'm not coming here as much anymore. Well, I don't come here at all anymore. Only for fertilizer. So, yeah, last for a minute, yeah. Anyway, when I got my address yesterday for where we're, where we're going here, I saw name of the company dash internal Immingham Dock on the address. So I'm thinking, all right. So it's the company I'm, deliver I'm collecting from. Just their place in Immingham Dock, internal transfer. Happy days. So I park up last night quite late. And uh, I'm having a look around on Google, see if I can find the place. No. Nothing. Looking for quite a while. No, nothing, nothing at all. So I know what I'll do. I'll Google the name of the place. Then Immingham. No, nothing there either. So I look on their website, the company's website, see if they got a depot in Immingham. So they, they, they'll have it listed on their website, wouldn't they? Nope. No depots outside of Wales. Ah, interesting. So, got a choice now. Do I just turn up and hope for the best? Or do I disturb my boss at night? And I thought, ah, we'll just turn up and hope for the best. And then I remember, my boss disturbs me at night. So I give him a ring. <laughs> I give him a ring and say, ah, any chance you have a definite a delivery address for this thing because I don't think this one I've got is right. He said, yeah, yeah, get back to you, get back to you. And he did about half hour later. Yeah, completely different address. <laughs> I mean, it's in the docks. But instead of going to the company we collected it from, we're going to our good friends at DFDS. I would have never thought of that. <laughs> I mean, you know, back of my mind, yeah, could have been a possibility, but no, I would have not have gone there first time anyway. I need to ask for directions now because I don't actually know where this warehouse is. We know where warehouse seven is. We know where warehouse eight is. We know where warehouse two is. I need warehouse four. I like it when the cars get the red light. <laughs> right, I don't think I turn right here. I think I need to go straight ahead. Wow, well, what's this sign say? It is completely useless. Well, I'm convinced that I need to go this way. Because I know it's here somewhere, over here. I think that's the building there, but I don't know how to get to it. That's the problem. I don't know how to get to it. Is it that? Or is it that? No, it's that, W4. Yeah, that, there we go. How do I get to it, though? Yeah, W4. 
So I, I turn right here. This is not obvious. I don't think I go down there. That's fenced off. I think I'm on the wrong side. Uh, okay, yeah, I've uh, I've gone wrong yet. So is this a roundabout? Is this tire on the floor roundabout that I can turn off? Turn around on. A lot, a lot of activity down this bit. Activity that I don't need. Okay, so after a bit of confusion, I gave up and asked for directions. And turns out I was right the first time. Ish. I just missed the turning. And the other turning. Yeah. Because when I t when I spun around at the roundabout, I, I could have gone in off one of those exits, apparently. And plus I missed the... Uh... Yeah, this is the one. Ah, yeah, the fence goes around that way, okay. This was the one all along. Ah, there's another fence. This is what confuses me, see? There's two fences. Uh, no, looks like we found the place. Looks like we found the place. Well, we're not tipping here. <laughs> so I was, I was right the first time by not coming here, <laughs> kind of. Uh, apparently I'm unloading in the container terminal. So I've got to go back to where I just was, kind of, roughly same area. But she said the words fast track lane, which I like. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not using container stuff anyway, so. Uh, I'm glad my reload is close. Like, just a bit over there, <laughs> close. Because we were picking up the fence post from this place here on the left, on the right. Oh, dearie me. Which one is the fast track lane? That one. The one that looks like it sh I shouldn't use. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we are, okay. All right, cheers. Looks familiar. There we go. Not quite exactly the same color as I've got, but there we are. Got to join him now. And, uh, it wasn't too bad, bit of waiting time, Jesus Christ, a lot of waiting time actually. But I got a feeling if I found where I needed to be first time, we wouldn't have had so much waiting time. And I don't know why I didn't spot them, because we were tipping right on the other side of the fence here, and I drove up here trying to find the entrance to where I was for. Anyway, so, reload, just down here. Just back there was where, where we collect the fence, well, where we did collect the fence posts from. Not anymore. And I hope I'm remembering the right way now because. That, no, that's not it. I was going to say, is that it? That looks familiar, but that's empty. But no, it's, it's the one next door. <laughs> oh, hello, big ship. Big ship. I always find it weird how sh ships need to have a massive no smoking sign on the on the bridge. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. I thought we were going to be waiting a while, yeah, but uh, looks like there's nobody loading. Can I be this lucky? Can I be this lucky? Ooh, I thought that was going to hit that gantry then. 5.1 meters. We're all right. We're all right. We're not that tall. We're tall, but we're not that tall. And we're loaded. We're loaded. Yes. Yes, loaded. Friday. Time to go home. Going to be a while to get home yet, but we're going home, we're going in the right way. It's very rare that I'm actually this far away from home on a Friday. Oh, actually, at this time of day, yeah, it is actually, yeah. 
because uh, we've, we've spent a bit too much time in the port. I think it's just gone up past 10 now without traffic. Five o'clock, half past five, not ideal. So without traffic. So probably six, seven o'clock by the time we get home. Or back to the yard rather. Uh, well, it is what it is. I had a bit of a lie in this morning, so I can't really complain. But anyway, shout out to the channel members, the new ones that have joined us. We've got Karen Phillips, Alan Morgan, and TVD Bunt. TV De Bunt. Absolutely no idea how you say that name, but there we go. Supporting the channel by becoming a member, I'm very grateful for you guys. For today, we end the video here, because all we're doing is motorway, motorway, motorway back to the yard. Which, it's been a lot of week. It's been my week this week. Ending, ending the video with those uh, enclosures in Huddersfield on Monday, that seems like a lifetime ago now. I've done a lot of waste this week, a, lot of, a few new things. And we've been heavy pretty much all week as well, so a good test for the V8. And I've noticed, as, uh, as the mileage creeps up on her, just when you're cruising at a, at a constant speed, just on the flat, not even uphill, she's starting to develop a very nice rumble, just, just cruising along. It's very subtle, but it's there, and it's ooh. You probably can't hear it on the videos, but for me driving it, it's like ooh. A little bit of spice, you know? <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you soon.